What is up, guys? Welcome back to Space Medic, and I am so excited to be getting this video to you today. We are going to be taking a look at the Talon. Now, this is going to be the base Talon, but we will be talking about the Shrike, which is the other model that you can get in the Talon. We're going to be the definitive video, the one that you need if you're wanting to get more information about the Talon, or if you're just wanting to look at cool alien ships. But before we get into that, I really would like for you guys to hit subscribe, click that bell for notifications, and thumbs up this video. We are a young community, but we are growing, and I would love for your support. There are a lot of Star Citizen YouTubers out there, and I could not be more thankful for you guys clicking on this video. Now that you guys are subscribed and with all of the intros out of the way, grab a drink, grab a snack, because we got a lot to go over. This ship is absolutely amazing, and I think you guys are going to love it. So, let's get into it. Now, let's just get the price out of the way starting off. The price of the Talon used to be $100 even, and they had a special war bond price of $90. For those of you who don't know, War bonds just mean new money and star citizen. With the ability to take ships and melt them, CIG came up with a way to make sure they had more money flowing in. So they will occasionally give you a discount if you're willing to give them new money or money that isn't otherwise tied up in the shop. However, with Alien Week, at least with this most recent one, the price has risen to $115. CIG has been known to add a alien tax onto the alien ships because it helps keep them rare and of course just brings in more money for them now word of warning if you guys are wanting to get your hands on this ship you can only buy these during special weeks throughout the year normally they're on sale at least twice but it's always up to cig if they actually want to release the ships for sale they are a more rare ship to see flying through the verse so if this is something you want you never know if they are going to limit the ship in the future. Unfortunately, this is a fear of missing out situation, and CIG knows it. It is listed as a limited ship, which means it's only sold during the initial concept or special events like Alien Week. However, for the most part, they are expected to return at some point. And luckily for the sale right now, they aren't quantity limited, so if you have the funds and want to get your hands on the ship... By all means, head to the store and grab one. The Talon is not available to be rented in-game, but you can go to Astro Armada on Area 18 and purchase it for 1,854,500 AUEC. Now, oddly enough, the Talon Shrike is the same price in the Pledge Store as the Talon, but if you wanted to buy it in-game, it would cost you considerably more at 2,259,200 AUEC. In terms of the avionic systems, the Talon and the Shrike have the exact same loadout. I mean exact. They both have size 1 power plants, coolers, and shield generators, and they're all made by the same manufacturers in the same class. The only difference between the two ships, other than the color, are the gun and missile loadouts that you get stock. Now, the paint is very unfortunate for the Talon because you, although you can buy the Cobalt and the Crimson, you can't buy the purple of the Shrike or the green of the regular Talon because it is only stock on those ships. However, if you really wanted to, you could buy both ships and then swap the paint amongst the two of them. So I guess you have to decide if paying $115 is worth it to make your regular Talon purple. And while we're on the topic, let me know in the comments if you guys think paint should actually cost real money just to customize your ship. And let me know if you think you're going to be able to buy the paint in-game like some other ships. Now moving on, let's quickly talk about the Quantum Drive in this ship. The tank is only rated at 583.33, so you are absolutely not going to be getting across the verse in this ship without making multiple stops. And as you guys can see in the video right now, I only really had enough to get from where I was 
a quick stop at an asteroid belt and then to a station to refuel because I was about to run out. But I guess that is expected in a small fighter. This isn't a freighter. It's not a ship that's designed to be taking you on these long journeys. It's a ship that's designed to do massive amounts of damage and be quick and nimble while doing it. And let me tell you right now that it does that very well. The Tavarian way of fighting is to hit quick, hit fast, and then get the heck out of there. And that's what this ship does. However, with that being said, it has very weak physical armor. It has alright shields, but as soon as those shields get damaged, you don't have a lot to work with, so you better be careful. Now, in terms of loadout, this is a glass cannon for sure. It has two size 4 weapon hardpoints under each wing, and it's equipped with size 3 laser cannons out the gate installed on gimbals, and it has a combined total of four size 2 missiles. Now, that's the base Talon. If you're looking at the Shrike, it's a completely different game. The Talon Shrike has two size 2 weapon hardpoints, under each wing and has size one laser cannons installed on gimbal mounts and two missile racks with a combined total of 24 size three missiles this ship is loaded with missiles so if that's the type of ship you're wanting the shrike is for you and if you're already buying it in the pledge store with them costing the same you're not missing out except for when you need larger weapons attached to your ship because when you run out of missiles not only do they cost a good bit to replace you're going to be pretty much dead in the water unless you can defend yourself with the smaller guns now both ships with them being glass cannons do have the unique feature of letting the cockpit shoot off of the ship as an escape pod and it's pretty cool to see and just get ready to pay an insurance claim on your talon and speaking of insurance buying this out of the pledge store does come with six months of insurance and the vfg industrial hangar when you do have to make a claim it's going to take six minutes and 45 seconds to get the ship to you unless you want to expedite it for 3368 auec which will cut that time down to two minutes and 14 seconds now like we learned in our last video it's useful to just wait the first two minutes and 14 seconds as the cost to expedite comes down and then you'll get a smaller price and you'll get an instant claim because you'll have to wait those two minutes and 14 seconds anyway you might as well save some money now unlike the cutlass red in our first walkthrough video this ship is meant to be a fighter and it is meant to be quick and nimble with four main thrusters two retro thrusters and 12 maneuvering thrusters this ship is really quick at spinning around and getting you in front of people to shoot and getting behind them now we are going to make our way to the space station here and when we get there we're going to land this ship and show you guys all of the aspects of this ship so that includes seeing that amazing screen canopy up close how you get in and out of the ship and we're also going to walk you around because you can access some of the ship components from outside of the ship it's a really cool feature that i haven't seen done in the ships that i've flown although i'm sure that cig has done this before with other ships what is really cool though is in the future when they implement this you might be able to swap out parts that are bad say that you break a cooler or a shield generator you can pop that out put a new one in and hopefully be on your way without having to stop and get repairs at a space station now as you guys can see i am not used to flying fast ships like this so i did pull the throttle back a little bit coming into land i'm used to big ships like the cutlass red so this was somewhat challenging at first however that's only because i'm not a very good pilot i'm sure you guys won't have any problems at all and just notice how cool this throttle is it's not like the normal quote human ships in star citizen it has a very unique way of actually handling the ship and it comes down very easily even though i really tried apparently not to land smoothly 
Now getting out of the ship, you'll see that the seat actually comes forward and lowers me down to the ground. It's really cool and it's a very unique way of getting in and out of the ship. When I first had to get in, I was a little thrown back because there wasn't a ladder to climb up. And there you guys can see, you can see through that canopy right now because of the screen. As that shuts, you'll see that there's no glass there. It's just a solid wall. And it is so cool. Now here, these are those size 3 cannons that we were talking about. There are two missiles right there. One missing because I did shoot one. Two more and then the other cannon. There's one cannon on each wing. And one of the coolest features about this, the wings do extend out and back in. It reminds me kind of an X-Wing in Star Wars. However, I know there is another ship in Star Citizen that more closely resembles it. But... I'm going to keep my opinion. Anyway, this also looks like the Guardians of the Galaxy ship, the Milano, if you guys are a fan of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Here we can see one of the ship components popping out. It would also be cool if they could do this for some storage space, but I understand with it being a fighter, it's probably not going to. Here's another component. Now, I'm not one to know exactly what this is, but you can see that it looks exactly like the components in the store to buy. It is really cool to see the attention to detail that CIG did, and they always make sure their ships look amazing. Just look at the wings here. It definitely looks more alien than human with the wings looking like they have feathers rather than being a solid piece of metal. But this ship is absolutely beautiful. I am more than happy. I am thrilled to have this ship in my fleet, and I think you guys would love it too if this is something that you're wanting to buy. I, with it costing $115, it might not be the best choice because it costs more. You might be better off with a Cutlass Black, maybe even a Cutlass Red with it being so close in price. However, it is an amazing ship, and it is my favorite ship so far. Here I am standing next to it to give you guys a sense of scale. And with it being a small fighter, it of course is pretty small. It's nothing like the Cutlass Red in the last video. Well guys, that is it for the Talon and the Talon Shrike. There's not a lot to talk about these ships individually but together i think they are amazing ships and here's one last clip of me getting in to the ship to show you how that works thank you guys so much again for watching this video i could not be more thankful for the love that you guys have been showing me please remember to subscribe to the channel click that bell icon for notifications to stay updated because we have some cool videos coming out in the future. We're going to be doing some bounty missions with the town and we're going to be doing some space combat, some bunker missions. We're going to be doing a lot in the verse and I don't want you guys to miss it. Please let me know in the comments below what you guys would like to see in the future. And if you're on TikTok, don't forget to click my link in the description below to get to the Space Medic page on TikTok. We post short clips there that I think you guys would absolutely love to see. Don't forget to share this video with your friends, even if they don't play Star Citizen now, because this might get them into Star Citizen. It was videos like this that got me started on my Star Citizen journey, and I think everyone can benefit from seeing a good breakdown before they buy. Thank you everyone for watching, and until next time, have a good one.